Interloper, this realm is not for your brittle kind. For us, with but an infinitesimal measure of our vast power, have the Frost Aedra subjugated this land. You are not fit to utter the name of the Master of the Frost Aedra, mortal. This land holds rich mysteries and great rewards, but not for mortals. Now, I shall end your profane trespass. Zibelai Moath! The great Zibelai Moath shall bring order and control to this dark land. Zibelai alone deserves to rule here. Ha! Zibelai alone will possess this rich, darkling land. He is the true heir to the great Merun's Dagon. Phaedra Sade is too consumed with fripperies and foolishness to do the hard work of conquest. Her fire daedra are too frivolous to harvest the mana riches of this realm, just as they were too frivolous to help imprison the nocturnal lieutenant. Our accursed pact forbids us from fighting them directly, but we deserve the mana, and they deserve oblivion. Yes, that is a most orderly arrangement. We agree, and to seal the pact, we shall gift you with the Greaves of Ice Crystals. Its potent charm will protect your bones from the scorching heat of the Fire Daedra. Understand that servitors of the Great Zibelai Moath must continue to attack you as long as you are within the Shade Perilous. Flee vigorously from us and attack the Fire Daedra. Bring all our enemies to heal. They serve our Lord Merun's Dagon through the court of the Grand Vizier, Imago Storm. He controls the details of the invasion, that our Lord Merun's Dagon may be free to think greater thoughts. What strange thoughts you mortals may entertain! All are loyal to our Lord Mayrun's Dagon. Now go and root out the interloper fire, Daedra. Uh...
party crasher. Wicked little party crasher, did you think we would not notice your wicked intrusion into our new banquet hall? Our Lord Phaedra Sarde is all-powerful. We exalt her name. Phaedra Sarde shall revel in the nocturnal ichor that flows with darkling mana. Only Phaedra Sarde understands the beauty of that deadly power, and only Phaedra Sarde deserves to keep it. But you are wrong. Zivilai Moath is too dull-witted to understand the power that is here. Phaedra Sarde, greatest child of Mehrun's Dagon, planned this attack, and only Phaedra Sarde shall drink of the reward. Yeah! We can do nothing! Nothing! Phaedra and Zivilai have a pact that forbids us from melting them to vaporous mists. Ah, ah, you are indeed wicked. We agree to this bond, and to bind our agreement, we give to you a helm of the fire opal that will warm your delicate flesh when the icy winds of Frostedra wrap you in their frigid embrace. Be not surprised that we continue to attack you while you are in the Shade Perilous. We may not evade our orders, but if you shy away from our rebels and seek the plodding Frost Daedra, we will not have to melt your mortal clay. Now we dance the dance of triumph and drive the Frost Daedra from our glorious party. Like the Frost Daedra, they do not understand the pleasures of the dance. They have no joy in the revel. They even stopped our wicked sport with the Lesser Nocturnal. When we did capture and bind the Nocturnal Lieutenant J.C.L. Morgan, the Lesser Nocturnal Deanira Catrice also became our prisoner. Our master, Phaedra Sarde, sought to drain the Lesser Nocturnal of her darkling power, power for our pleasure. But the passionless Dremora stopped us. The Dremora are dry husks and the fires of desire rage not in them. Their hearts are colder than the frigid frost, Daedra. Wicked mortal, you ask for more than you deserve. Yes, I see. Well, the Lesser Nocturnal is the farthest cell in the southern vault. We visit her to torment her with fire and frost. The portal only opens to the command, The Gerent of Dagon rules here. The Greater Nocturnal is beyond the whirling spiral grinders, but she is beyond even my power to visit. Now run, wicked one. Run and splinter the Frost Daedra as you swore in your pact. We will cavort while you shatter the Frost Daedra into a thousand icy shards.
What do you think you're doing? You... Wait, are you... Curse the gods! It is the manling! think you're doing? You... Wait, are you... Curse the gods! It is the manling!
Zibelai Moath! The great Zibelai Moath shall bring order and control to this dark land. Zibelai alone deserves to rule here. Ha! Zibelai alone will possess this rich, darkling land. He is the true heir to the great Mehrunes Dagon. Phaedra Sade is too consumed with fripperies and foolishness to do the hard work of conquest. Her fire daedra are too frivolous to harvest the mana riches of this realm, just as they were too frivolous to help imprison the nocturnal lieutenant. Our accursed pact forbids us from fighting them directly, but we deserve the mana, and they deserve oblivion. Yes, that is a most orderly arrangement. We agree, and to seal the pact, we shall gift you with the Greaves of Ice Crystals. Its potent charm will protect your bones from the scorching heat of the Fire Daedra. Understand that servitors of the Great Zibelai Moath must continue to attack you as long as you are within the Shade Perilous. Flee vigorously from us and attack the Fire Daedra. Bring all our enemies to heal. Our Lord Phaedra Sade is all powerful. We exalt her name.
Dagon's treacherous dogs. You'll get no mercy from me, maggot eater. Come, come closer, so you can hear my every curse upon you and all your spit-licking kin. Lying, cowardly, spit-sucking dogs. Don't try your lying tricks on me. Come closer and let me kiss you, you spotty, craven cretan. Interloper, this realm is not for your brittle kind. <laughs> 